Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. It's an exhibit in which we really tell the story of the Cuban Missile Crisis, which was certainly the most dangerous episode in human history. And we tell it by putting you inside the room where the president and his advisors were actually dealing with the crisis. This is a result of the photography taken some days How do you know this is a medium range ballistic missile? In the spring of 1962, Khrushchev decided to deploy a nuclear strike force in Cuba, 90 miles away from the United States. On the 14th of October, planes with cameras flying over Cuba found evidence of the missile site construction. President Kennedy was shown that evidence. He immediately called his advisors together. For the next 13 days, they tried to find a way to um, get those missiles out. It's ready to buy it. No, the exhibit includes original documents, artifacts, photographs, but also tapes that were secretly recorded by President Kennedy in the cabinet room while he was meeting with his advisors. There's blockade and, and political action I see leading into war, right into war. Uh, this is almost as bad as the impeachment of Dunia. They're extraordinary historical records of what happened. There's really nothing to reveal why the president uh, made, created those tapes. Uh, some historians say it's because he wanted them as he prepared his memoirs, but there's really, we just don't know. We introduced the characters of Khrushchev, leader of the Soviet Union, and Fidel Castro in Cuba by way of uh, personality studies that were conducted by the CIA. We have the chairs that President Kennedy and Soviet Premier Khrushchev sat in, the one and only time they met officially, which was in Vienna in 1961. There's a document in the exhibit in which the president is announcing an airstrike on the missile sites in Cuba. It was never delivered, but it was prepared at a time when the president was trying to decide which course of action to pursue. We have a map that was used during the briefings, and we have in Kennedy's own hands where he marked where the missile site installations were. And it just gives you an extra dose of reality about the humanity of these people. I call upon Chairman Khrushchev to halt and eliminate this clandestine, reckless, and provocative threat to world peace. Ultimately, it was resolved when Khrushchev agreed to remove the missiles. The United States pledged not to invade Cuba, and secretly they promised that missiles that they had in Turkey would also be removed. The last piece of the exhibit is the original signed nuclear test ban treaty. Both nations started working toward agreement on limiting nuclear weapons. The two powers did sign the Limited Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1963. No achievement ever gave the president more satisfaction. Mm -hmm.